Santa Clara, we made it. 2022, what a crazy year. How much changed from Q1 to Q4 of last year, ranging from mortgage interest rates, uh, stock portfolios, you name it. And obviously our beloved 49ers doing amazing, but we'll get to that. Folks, the Fed rates are planning on continuing to increase through Q1 of 2023. Right now, the folks that are a lot smarter than me are anticipating we can see a 50 basis point rate hike and 25 subsequent point rate hikes through the quarter, which might do the job with inflation, but we'll continue to watch that and I'll report it back to you folks as soon as I get that information. But I know that you're tuning into this video to find out what's going on with the Santa Clara real estate market, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so the median list price for the single family homes in the city of Santa Clara is 1.66 million for January. I reported these numbers as of January 4th when I did my research. So whenever you're watching this, please keep in mind that this is from the first week of January. So 1.66 million is the average price for those homes, the single family homes in Santa Clara. That's down a bit from last month, just a tad in December when I reported 1.67 million. So we'll continue to monitor that. The price per square foot of that comes out to $1,038 per square foot. Now that's interesting enough, up a bit from last month at 1,004. So we're up about $34 per square foot in the month of January compared to December of last year. The median days in the market, if you're curious, is 67 days. So it's taking 67 days from when a property is listed by the seller and listing agent to when an offer is accepted when a ready, able, and willing buyer submits and they get into contract. So that duration of time is taking about 67 days right now. It's a little wonky because last month in December, we were at 42 days. Now, the holidays are always a little bit more different considering that a lot of folks are traveling, being with their family. They they do their, their home buying and home selling objectives. You know, they take a, a slight pause to that. So it takes a little bit longer. Uh, just so to keep that in mind. The price reductions though, 28%. That's under the average of about a third of homes when they hit the market, take a price cut before they get an offer accepted. That's the general norm and we're down under that at 28%. So that was really interesting. Last month in December though, I reported 36% of those listings that were hitting the market were taking a price cut before getting an offer accepted. There were 18 single family homes as of the first week of January, 18 single family homes available in Santa Clara. And that's about half of what I reported last month in December. So the inventory is down about half of what it was in December. Interesting to see how that price per square foot pans out from next month's reporting. So you'll you'll uh, you'll see that in the February report. Slight increase though in single family homes month over month. So there's been a slight demand from last month to this month, as you can see, considering how much less inventory we have on the market, how the price per square foot is shot up as a result. So there's a slight demand uh, month over month. The fastest selling homes though, think of your mid-century classic, your mid-century single family home in Santa Clara, built in the mid fifties, three bedroom, two bath, around 12 to 1300 square feet. Those are selling, uh, oh yeah, by the way, about a 6,000 square foot lot. Those are selling the fastest. Those are on the market about half the duration of time and they're getting picked up. So those are the fastest selling homes in town. Now that's the single family data. Let's switch over to the condos and townhomes now. So for the condos and townhomes, the median list price for those, $1,270,000, $1,270,000. Last month I reported $1,150,000. So as you can see, it's gone up about 120K month over month. So that was a really interesting figure too. It's considering the fact that the sales price of the single family homes dipped a bit, but with the condos and townhomes, they've gone up. My assumption is, you know, folks getting into the market, that's a lot more of a of an easier price to deal with. Uh, home ownership is obviously important to a lot of people. If they can't get a single family home, they're gonna look into the condos and townhome cohorts. So you can see that obviously in the data. The price per square foot, if you're curious, comes out to $895 per square foot. And that is up a bit from last month when I ported $808. So clearly the, the, the trends are there. The median days on the market though, 39. Last month they were 21. So it's almost double the days on the market that they were last month. Again, holidays are a wonky time and some of the data seems a little interesting, you know, because of that. Um, and we'll see how that pans out for February though. 
uh, it's always nice to take an average of a few months and then you know, you'll know you see how it kind of changes and you'll get a, a much better sample size. The price reductions though, 19%. So 19% of the condos and townhomes in town were taking a price cut before they were getting into contract. Last month though, it was 29%. There's 16 condos and townhomes available for sale in the city of Santa Clara. And last month I had reported 21, so that's down a bit. So the trends are staying similar as you can tell. Last month to this month, a lot of those homes are being taken up. And right now we have a fairly low inventory situation. Uh, we're starting the, the 2023 off in a, yeah, a significantly low inventory situation. There's been a very, very, very slight increase though for interest in condos and townhomes month over month in the city of Santa Clara. Um, it's really interesting though, because the, the, the single family homes have seen a, a, a slight higher increase in demand compared to the condos and townhomes even though the condos and townhomes have been selling better. The fastest selling though out of all of them, a very, very niche property, really interesting, a 2,000 square foot townhome sold after being on the market for only 14 days. And again, 39 days being the average for the condos and townhomes, this property sold after being on the market at 14 days. So as you can see clearly that when there is a home and it's priced well, you're gonna get a lot of interest from sellers and it's gonna get picked up real fast. So those interesting that those specific properties will get a buyer really quick. They'll be taken off the market much faster than your average home. So it seems that buyers are sitting there on the sidelines looking for those specific properties that they really, really like. They'll jump on those. Now, overall, though, we had six weeks of mortgage rates slowly declining over the past six weeks. And then we've had two weeks of them increasing. So I usually see the health of the market with how my open houses are going. Now I had a, uh, an open house, two open houses in Santa Clara in December, and they both got around 50 groups, between 40 and 50 groups of, of open house attendees each weekend. So that showed me that the, uh, that the buyer was out there and they were really motivated, considering the fact that we had some really uh, rainy weather in December as well, but that didn't stop these buyers from coming by the open houses. So clearly it shows that folks are motivated. If there's something of interest for them, they will jump on it. Now, let's continue to monitor these numbers and I will report back to you folks in February to see you know how this changes. If you have any questions at all about like the real estate market, mortgage rate forecasts, uh, what the Federal Reserve is thinking about interest rate hikes and how that can affect your portfolio, reach out to me. Of course, I'm not a stockbroker, I'm not a lender, I'm a real estate agent but I follow about a dozen economists that are a lot smarter than me so I can report the accurate numbers to you folks. So if you have any interest, check out my link below. My link tree has all of my information. I mean, ranging from our team reviews, my website, uh, you know, social media stuff, and some, and some, uh, some links like my Calendly, if you can book a time to chat with me and we can, uh, we can have all of your questions answered. So at the end of the day, folks, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Remember, my name is Nima Maridi, and my family has helped over 1,600 families here in Silicon Valley buy and sell homes since 1988. My father started this business. He built his bones around Santa Clara. Santa Clara is very near and dear to our hearts. I am there practically seven days a week. I'm a proud member of the Santa Clara Rotary Club as well. We always give back to our community. And I appreciate you tuning in. More next month. Thank you.